Hello, everybody, and welcome to FinTech Futures. This is our Cyboss series, and my name is Tyler Paith. I'm a reporter for FinTech Futures. And today, I'm very, very happy to be joined by Gloria Wan of JP Morgan. How are you, Gloria? Great. Thank you so much for inviting me. Thank you. And thank you so much for, for joining us here today. I realize we've managed to get you in, in the middle of a very busy schedule. We, we are currently recording in sort of the run up to Cyboss. Um, so yes, very, very busy as, as the event approaches. Um, lots to talk about today uh, in our interview. But before we get going, maybe you could give our audience a little bit of a, uh, an insight into who you are and what your role is at JP Morgan, please. Absolutely. Hello, everyone. I'm Gloria Wan. Um, I work in the Link by Onyx JP Morgan division. It's a innovation division that we've set up specifically looking at use cases that can be leveraging our digital um, uh, distributed ledger technology and how that can apply to banking and maybe even broader sets of use case. So the journey has started with this division for three years. I've been with them looking after a range of um, functions across product development, client success, working with banks and fintechs globally. Um, and before that, I was also with JP Morgan, one of those <laughs> that have been with the bank for a long time, but more in the security services space and helping um, buy side clients um, launching their products and looking at their investments globally. Fantastic. Well, thank you very much for that introduction. You've been with JP Morgan almost a decade now, isn't it? Next year, I believe. Believe it or not, yes. <laughs> time flies. <laughs> time does fly. Time does fly. Um, well, it, you, talking about um, Link, uh, you being the director of, of the initiative, and it's been live for, for three years now, as you mentioned. Can you tell us a bit about um, how how it's evolved since its inception? And are there any milestones uh, during your journey that you're particularly proud of? Absolutely. Um, we first started the concept of Link back in 2019, so even slightly earlier than oh. when I joined. And the initial vision is to connect banks to help address some of the settlement inefficiency challenges we've seen in the cross-border payments um, through more of a seamless and secure information exchange. Um, so before Link, we really pride ourselves with an information exchange network concept. And fast forward to today, uh, we had to adapt to the rapid changing market landscape and really open up the network scope beyond just banks and bringing non-bank financial institutions, fintechs, and maybe even corporates in some of the use cases, and to truly bring the market and the payment ecosystem together. And even from a use case perspective, we've naturally seen way more in, like use case and adoptions built on top of the data that we've enabled on the network compared to what we thought we were building back in like four or five um, years ago. Mm -hmm. um, and in terms of the milestone, I think it truly all coming from our participants. When I see um, our participants launching new products powered by Link, um, being able to automate manual processes, mm -hmm. improve their settlement um, rates, um, and, and also seamlessly switch between data providers because we've done the hard work of normalizing data on a global basis. Um, those are definitely the moments that powers me and my team um, every single day. Yeah, that's really, really fantastic. And I have been keeping up with these latest developments. It seems like almost uh, every other week there's a, there's a positive development coming from Link. Um, and there's a good, it will set you on a good standing as well in, a, in, in this week, should I say, when you're at Cyboss. Um, and uh, you'll have a lot of really, really interesting um, developments to showcase and achievements to, to celebrate whilst you're there among the rest of the industry, fintechs and banks side by side. Um, what will be the focus of JP Morgan Payments attendance at Cyboss this year? Yeah, um, first of all, just very exciting to be at Cyboss in Beijing. What a cool location to be. And being able to connect with clients globally um, in Asia, we do see a lot of um, opportunities in that region. Um, a lot of interesting, innovative solutions that just coming out from uh, different parts of that that, that parts of the, the the world. And um, in terms of our focus, um, we really wanted to double down on building stronger client connections and long-lasting client relationships that drives the mutual success. Um, we wanted to be able to share um, our visions, exchange ideas uh, through these type of panel discussions, client meetings that wouldn't happen in Cyborg. 
And um, given JP Morgan, our payment business is, has a huge scale. We process $10 trillion a day, every single day. Um, so being able to deliver first class services and operations is the foundation of our businesses. Mm -hmm. So having deepened understanding of the business priorities and the challenges that our clients are facing really would help us to provide the right tooling, the right e expertise to help them achieve their goals as well. Mm. It's, it's very exciting to, to be able to have those conversations one on one uh, with those clients and with those prospective clients as well. Um, I, I've been to a few uh, Cybos in my time and it's always so many different people to speak to. I find at the end of the event, uh, at the end of the week, I'm almost out of words, you know. Um, so, yes, best of luck with that, with that endeavor of, uh, of JP Morgan. I'm, I'm, sure, uh, I'm sure all of the team will be very swept off their feet this year at Beijing. Um, in terms of uh, if we dive down a bit more into the technology but behind, um, uh, behind the initiative and more within JP Morgan more broadly, uh, Lynx use, uses blockchain technology to enhance cross-border payments. Can you tell us maybe a little bit about how that process works and what advantages it might have over traditional processes? Absolutely. And I really do think it's not just about the technology. Let it be blockchain or AI and some other funky te technology that's going to come out, uh, who, who knows, next year. Um, it's more around the value that we're delivering to the market and our clients. Um, Link built out a network infrastructure that really changes the dynamic of how banks and other types of institutions think about technology investment. Um, the, the way we are driving the network is through one single technical integration and under one set of common commercial rules, um, the participants on the network can naturally compound the return as we grow the network capabilities. Um, so one of our application, take an example, Confirm, which is our global account validation solution. Every single participant on the network will naturally be able to validate more accounts globally in a consistent manner under a consistent set of data definition every time we connect to a new bank and connect to a new um, data provider, mm -hmm. but yet they still have the flexibility of operationalize those data differently according to their business needs or their client demand. It's around setting up that foundational layer um, to enable some of these more dynamic way of thinking about using data. And taking that beyond just link, like across more of an Onyx, because Onyx really is the the division within JP Morgan that looks at blockchain development. Um, we have two other what we call networks that runs um, our digital payment network who built out capabilities to enable 24-7, 365 real-time instant movements of funds on a cross-border basis. Mm -hmm. So that's a huge milestone that we were able to deliver to the market to start thinking about moving money in more real time um, across different time zones across different, breaking down the limitations of cutoffs um, and other types of functions like programmable payments is enabling banks and corporates to have a different way of thinking about liquidity management, right? a more of a event-driven liquidity management that automated a series of fund transfers on the back of third-party data inputs or on, on the back of a specific event trigger. So like it's starting to gel different concepts together and deliver a comprehensive solution to the market as opposed to individual capabilities that we've built um, throughout the time. And we're definitely going beyond just payments as well. We've um, finally managed to connect with some of the ma other market infrastructures through our digital Onyx digital payment um, ledger and enable um, our clients to subscribe and support their digital asset transfers as well. So like mm -hmm. the world's starting to come together through a modular ways. We have been building individual components over the year mm -hmm. and this is really the year we're starting to bring all of those together. Wow. How exciting to have, have all that sort of converge into one really, really powerful offering. Um, I, I think a lot of what you're talking about uh, at the moment, digital assets, um, tokenization, cross-border payments, I think these are all going to be really core themes at this year's Cybos. Um, having spoken to a few different players in the industry uh, in, in my preparations for the event. So it's, uh, yeah, it's going to be really exciting. And what an, what an event for, for uh, JP Morgan Payments and 
Onyx to really be showcasing what it's doing. Um, you talk about you know uh, extending the network and and really enhancing the offering, um, especially in terms of like cross border payments. Can you tell me about um, Link's pursuit of new markets and what the challenges are in in um, cementing its place in those new markets? Yeah, I think there has definitely been challenges along the way, like being building a nascent network, a new concept of connecting institutions, breaking down the data silo between institutions, mm -hmm. um, a lot of uphill battle that we have to fight as well. And when I'm thinking about expanding into new markets, the big driver will be unlocking new data coverage on the network. We have seen the benefits of data-enabled processes and products through kind of some of the early adoptions on Link, but it's far from enough. Like we've seen huge gaps from a uh, data completeness perspective um, in some of the key regions. Um, and the, 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 the biggest challenge here is breaking down the cross-border, um, different interpretation from data privacy perspective, different ways of handling data and different behaviors when it comes to cross-border payments. Um, of, of course, and different demand and different priorities. Like we're seeing uh, very interestingly, the world getting divergent on um, different priorities because of local regulatory driven activities, um, as well as the different client demand in different markets really and mm -hmm. different competitive landscapes. Well, I mean, as as director, you um, you seem very aware of of what these challenges are and how you know over time they will be overcome with different strategy milestones that you're passing. When when I asked you at the beginning about you know what milestones you are, you're particularly proud of in in Link and, and Onyx more broadly is is the uptake among clients. Can you tell me a little bit about you, you don't have to drop names, you can if you want to, but can you tell me a little bit about what these clients are saying when they connect into Link and how is that feedback that you're receiving as director uh, shaping future developments of the offering? Yeah, we have been extremely lucky to build a group of incredibly supportive participants over the past few years who are actively contributing and growing the network and the vision of collective intelligence. It's really, really important and great to see so many banks and now even some of the market infrastructures start to coming in together and truly uh, embrace the concept of partnership and collaboration through the partnership. I think that's a key point that we will continue to develop on. And we are also very happy that we were able to support many of our clients through their payment modernization journey whether it is launching a new value added services to their clients or unlocking new revenue streams through monetization of data or capabilities. I think mm -hmm. general appreciation of there is a such network infrastructure that allows these type of secure exchange, allow people to start thinking about more innovative ways of growing their portfolios of products, growing their revenue streams, um, has been a big um, driver in terms of why the network has been um, accelerating its adoption path. And it definitely has also taught us a lot in terms of the challenges the banking societies and many other fintechs are facing and doing the hard work of thinking about how can we help to build out the right structure, to build out right features and toolings to help address some of these um, Cha real challenges that businesses are facing. Mm. And I think not just me, myself, like across entire teams, um, we have built an incredible amount of intelligence through just talking to clients, having supportive clients working with us and trialing the product and really taking the evidence from the success stories from the market and advocate the best practices across a much broader community of banks that has mm. been definitely the biggest learning curve for us and we'll continue to drive our future product roadmaps. That's really, really fascinating. What a great conversation we've had, uh, Gloria. Um, I, I wish you all the best at, at Cybos uh, this year and have a safe journey there. I could talk to you all day, but I, I realize that um, we've only got a small slot of your time. So thank you for joining us today. Uh, and yes, I hope to hope to join you again soon. So thank you. Thank you so much. much. It's been a pleasure. Thank, thank you very you. much.
And thank you to everybody who's joined this conversation with Gloria Wan online. If you'd like to find out more about what JP Morgan is up to at this year's Cybos in Beijing, or more about the conference in general, then please visit fintechfutures.com. My name is Tyler Pape, and it's been a pleasure to uh, be doing this interview today, and I hope to speak to you all again soon.